Prabha 3 equals two spacecraft flying together in pursuit of one common goal. Prabha 3 is going to emulate the principle of a total solar eclipse because what Prabha 3 wants to do is to study the outer part of the Sun's atmosphere, so the solar corona. The problem is that for studying it, we need a total solar eclipse, and these only happen a few times a year and they are very brief. So Proba 3 will emulate a total solar eclipse on demand. One spacecraft will cast a shadow onto another, just as the Moon does to Earth during a solar eclipse. In the very beginning, still like 20 years ago, when I first time heard about Proba 3, I said, wow, this is really something to be done. Moving at kilometers per second, the pair needs to hold position precisely, down to the width of a fingernail. Proba 3 is exactly the kind of mission where ESA excels. It applies advanced technology to gather new science while trying out a wholly novel way of operating in space. We had to develop a number of new uh, technologies, a number of new sensors, so each spacecraft knows where the other one is. Like self-driving cars, the spacecraft stares autonomously, harnessing radio and laser links, LED tracking cameras and shadow sensors. In the end, the proof that our technology works well will be in the quality of the data, opening a window onto a crucial part of the solar system that is usually hidden from us. I'm proud of how ESA has worked with European and Canadian space companies to make this mission possible and I wish the Proba 3 team the very best of luck.